going on guys? It's currently Easter and it's about to be nighttime. You guys can see this piece is almost done. Just need some details and you know cleaning up a bit here and there. So that'll be finished by tomorrow. And I have my flight either Wednesday or Thursday. I haven't booked it yet because I wanted to make sure that this was done. But yeah, once I touch down in LA, uh, it's pretty much go time. Um, I have a lot of meetings. A lot of things that I need to go over and I'm excited to start producing the ODK fashion line. It's so windy today actually, I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, it's gonna be kind of surreal. I haven't been home in such a long time. And you know, a lot of my friends, my family haven't seen them in a long time. And now I'm coming back with like full throttle with plans and stuff. So it's gonna be kind of cool. I will be spending like two weeks at my parents, two weeks at a friend's, and like two weeks somewhere else. So it's gonna be hectic, but nonetheless, it's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna have somebody help me record video and stuff, so I don't have to like hold and stuff. Um, so that's gonna be cool too. I'm gonna leave everything here in nice order, everything good, and I'm gonna go to LA, Cali for like a month, maybe even go to New York, who knows. Lots of plans, a lot of things kind of like up in the air, you know, a lot of opportunities. So, I'm going to take you guys with me. Hopefully you guys enjoy the ride. Much love to everybody and happy Easter for those that celebrated. Just want to take a quick second so you guys can see how deep this black is. You can't even see like the, the border right here. It just eats up all the light. It took me a long time to get this formula down. Got to finish up some details and this is basically done, man. Not bad for a warm up. Now that this is finished, gonna deliver it tomorrow and I have a really big commission that I need to do in Cali. This is my studio right now, right? Like this is where I live. Nice open space, a lot of light. Now wait till you guys see my spot and my parents. You guys gonna be like, what? Big, big, big difference. That painting was a huge success. Not only was he happy, but he was like feeding for the second one. So now we have a second one in motion, which obviously I need to do when I come back, but it's always a great time, man, when somebody who is not used to collecting art sees when you're pieces for the first time and it moves them right away. Like you can just see it in their eyes once they see it, like, oh shit. Now I understand. You know, so once we have that effect on people, man, it's uh, it's really all about keeping that connection fresh, alive, and just making sure that each collector knows and feels like they're part of the journey because they are. With the second piece, um, he just went larger in scale. We haven't worked out the numbers yet, but you know, it's, it's just blessings. And I'm thankful that people will really appreciate my work and you know, it's helping me keep going, so. That's the news with that. Also, my hair is officially gray or white. I don't know, but it looks dope, I like it. And I'm getting ready to pack up for Cali. Shit, I leave tomorrow. Exciting times, man, I'm super fucking stoked. So let's do it, deuces. This part of the video, I'm gonna be taking you guys on a tour, what my current living situation is, and then we're gonna recap and go backwards, and I'm gonna show you where I started. So you can see here, I have a nice open space, a lot of light, which is very important because I'm a painter, you know, and painters need a lot of light. And having these very large windows allows a lot of natural light to come in for the majority of the day, really. So in this section, I use it specifically for an art studio. This is where I paint. And I do like to switch things around a bit, depending on what I'm working on. You can see there, I have many nails on the wall. And uh, this, is, this is a zone right here. Very nice, peaceful, calm. And now coming back this way, you'll see the kitchen. 
um, and nothing fancy to be honest I really haven't gotten too much into this place because it's still relatively new and I actually had to buy the appliances now coming this side you'll see that this is one of the bedrooms where I converted it into an office well started to you see there I have my work desk I have the mic that's where I do spaces this is where I do my meetings and uh, it's nice to have a separate space from your studio that you can focus on just you know having an office space and that room I actually painted brown to kind of give it a different vibe now coming in here we're coming into the bedroom the master bedroom again very large windows really cool definitely different from what what I was used to and it's just a, a really nice change of pace man to really have a calm space that it can be away from work it can be away from painting from the office like this is really where i come in and i'll kind of zone out and listen to music you know watch movies re-inspire myself really and i still have a desk in the corner where if i have a quick thought or i need to jump on a call or something i still have a space you know that i can work on i also like to work here i have my lights here but for the most part, you can see everything's kind of blank. I'm still decorating and stuff. And here we have the walk-in closet, shower. And again, you know, still filling stuff in. But yeah, just having a closet this big, it's a huge difference, man, uh, from what I started. So very proud, man. This is like everything that I could ask for. I have my space, I have my studio, I have my office, and it allows me to really get in the zone and focus on the things that I need to focus on. You can see here, you know, time lapses, me just chilling, working, you know, talking to the ODK community, doing things that I need to do. And for the most part, it's a blessing, man. I, I love where I live. Now I'm gonna show you guys kind of like the amenities. Right here we have some, some courts, some playgrounds for kids. This is on the 24th floor. And on the other side, there's actually a spa that's, you know, uh, for kids, like families and stuff and i'm gonna be taking you to the top floor well not the top but one of the top floors which is 48th floor and this is where we have the gym this is where i come work out really nice view i mean wow man, look at that at night it's beautiful too with all the lights and it's really cool that they put this this high because you know it's just a vibe and for the most part you see here it's kind of empty there's not that many people that come and work out i guess or maybe because it's during the day people have to work but yeah man this is where i come work out you know trying to stay in shape not try but you know just implement a routine because it's very important to make sure that your health is in, in good standing you know there's a lot of pressure in what i do there's a lot of stuff that is constantly on the move so Making sure that my mind, my health, my body, you know, everything's in good standing is, is super important for me. Self-care, all that stuff, I've always made sure that I don't stray too away from it. You know, if I make sacrifices, like like I did in the past couple months, uh, I get straight back into it, you know. Yeah, I'm a lot slimmer, I'm a lot weaker, but I know in due time, you know, stay consistent and the muscle will come back. I just gotta, you know, make sure that I'm consistent, stay eating, and just staying active, man, moving my body. Don't like to sit for too long, so this is a spot. And you see here, they also have like the, uh, for cycling, you know, and um, over here on this side is for Pilates. These rooms you have to reserve uh, through the app, but it's still, you know, full access. And then coming into here, this is like the adult spa. Uh, we have two separate pools and a jacuzzi. So this is open pretty much throughout the whole day and part of the night. Um, I do try and enjoy this as much as I can, but to be honest, I'd probably only be here a few times uh, to use the jacuzzi and, you know, to swim a bit, but that's that's my spot and then over here on the other side of that same floor it's kind of like a community space you can come out here and just hang out you know you want to take a call want to have a different space get out of your apartment there's multiple sections here you know to have meetings or to just chill and work on some computer stuff or i see other people coming in like taking personal private classes for like english and again man look at this view it's freaking amazing I don't take none of this for granted, man. Um, you know, once I show you where I come from and, you know, this is something that I've always dreamt for, right? To have this space that I can consistently 
have some type of routine and you know uh, make sure that all my needs are checked off it's, it's a blessing man really currently packing up everything well not everything just you know some fits i do have a lot of clothes at home but some of these stuff is my favorite so i'm gonna take it and take these pairs of shoes over here just kind of clean them up a bit gotta pack up finish and have everything ready for tomorrow Rewind it, bring it back a bit, you know, because I am going home and I want to welcome you guys to my roots where I started. And by no means am I ashamed or in any form shy or embarrassed because I loved where I come from. Like, I love the household that my parents supplied for me. I, I love the fact that my parents, you know, raised me the way I am. And I am super grateful with everything that they did for me and, you know, gave me so many opportunities. Just being in the States, you know, being born in California, it's, it's a huge advantage in, in a lot of ways. And so I am blessed, I am thankful, and by no means am I showing this to get some type of like sympathy or feeling bad from like, nah, man, like I'm proud of where I came from and I would love to come back and see, you know, the OG spot. So that being said, welcome to my parents' home. This is where I, I, was, uh, I was raised uh, for a good amount of my time. Uh, you see here, you know, nice home, pretty chill. Uh, my parents actually divided it into two separate homes now. So now they have the front, which is three rooms, one bathroom, living room, and a kitchen. So you see here to the left, <coughs> they allowed me to eventually turn the living room into a studio. Once I was, you know, making pretty good money and they saw that I was taking this seriously, they're like, you know what, fuck it, take this spot, we don't need it, we can make this front part the living room, you know? So again, super, super grateful that my parents were always very supportive and, you know, making sure that they can do what they can to make sure that my dreams come true. So I love them to death, man, super blessed. And now coming here to the left, this is my sister's room another amazing truly creative person uh, a lot of the stuff that i do and the person who i am now is really because of her because she was always there supporting me helping me out same with my cousin i have my people that along the way they really helped me in any way that they could man so i'm super blessed and grateful for them but this is her space again another creative she's a homebody she likes to stay indoors you know she likes to create she crochets she paints she draws she's a very very talented uh intellectual person and uh i get a lot of my advice from her in a lot of ways so this is a spot man this is where i come and kick it when i'm taking a break or just chopping it up with my sister and now over here is my room it used to be an office room, which is why the door is clear and there's no privacy. But again, it's okay. I made it my own. And as you guys can see, this is my spot, man. It fits one bed, one desk, and like, you know, this portable closet. But you know what? So much magic happened in this spot, man. Like, I would just be in here with my thoughts and my ideas. And you guys can see I write on the walls, I draw something, I put it on the wall. If there's something that inspires me, I put it right there on the wall. Like, again, my parents are so supportive. They don't care if I fuck shit up. Like, you know, like, you know what? Let him be him. This is his creative process. And yeah, this is where I spent uh, a good year, year and a half after I had already moved out and had my own spot. Keep that in mind. I already was independent, had my own spot you know super bougie in Irvine and I came back to this to live here and really give art a shot and uh, yeah man, I just made it happen I, I was reading a lot I was intaking a lot of videos a lot of YouTube and I would travel to Los Angeles which is like an hour and 15 minutes away from Rialto and yeah man, I would drive out there sometimes I would save my friends and then if not I would come back super late sleep eat and uh get back to work but this is where the magic happened this is like like this spot for me is so sacred because i can see how hungry i was in the beginning 
and I still am, but going back to this spot, it's like my zone, it's like my, my sanctuary where all the energy from, you know, in those early stages, it just comes back to me, like rushing, like, yo, remember how you started, don't give up, you know, you're doing this for us, you're doing this for everybody, like, look what you made happen with what you had, like, fuck it, keep going, bro, like, we're right here with you, you know, by all means, this is your spot. And yeah, my parents do not change anything. They just leave it because they understand that when I come back, it's my zone, it's my section, you know? So this is it, man. This is my beginnings. Um, this is where I'm gonna be spending a lot of my weeks while I'm here in Cali. And uh, I'm, I'm super proud, man. I can't wait to get back to work into this OG studio, kind of get those vibes back. But yeah, I'm welcoming you guys to my life, my home. This is it. Um, and I'm showing this again to see where I started and what you're able to do when you stay consistent. And now I have a beautiful place in Mexico where I can go back to and, you know, really continue to expand and live the life that I want to be living. So, yeah, I hope this was valuable. I hope you guys, you know, hope this inspires anybody out there that feels like they need more resources to make it happen. That's so not true, man. Work with what you have. Make it happen. If you're truly hungry and passionate, the magic will come out. You know, things will come to fruition. Just keep going. And now you have a video to look back on like, yo, this is fucking possible. You can make it happen. And be proud. No matter where you, how far you go, no matter how long it takes you, just be proud, be consistent, keep your head up, and keep creating. Alright? Much love, guys.